Happy Thursday, everyone. We had a decent system roll on through. That's something we normally see in April. It's about a quarter of an inch for the Medford area. It got us closer to those averages for the month. The month is almost over, if you can believe it. We've only got about a week left, but we do have some time to catch up, and hopefully we'll see some more showers as we go over the next couple of days. We'll zoom out a bit, and you can see the structure to the atmosphere right now. The system that brought us those showers, that's moved a little further off to the east. You can see, still see some showers for parts of Idaho. Montana, for example, a little bit of snow out there, but this was a warmer system approached almost directly from the west, and because of that, a little bit warmer air with it. Snow level still pretty high up there. We didn't see a lot of snow in our area unless you're on the tippy tops of the mountains. Mount McLaughlin, for example, a little bit of snow at the top there. Those showers continue to move off to the east, and as they do, we're going to dry things out. We are going to see a warmer afternoon, and we'll keep that going with high pressure and control through today into Friday and a little bit of Saturday. Then later Saturday, the next system tries to move in. There's a little bit of potential out there as we go into the weekend itself. This next system nowhere near as strong, probably circulating right about there if we really look for the low. And then we have another system out there towards about Monday. So the potential is there, but for the most part, the high pressure is going to build up more. It's going to increase in strength and because of that, keeping the low pressure either well off to the south or well off to the north of us. And that keeps us mostly dry over the next few days, especially towards Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. Going to see some very warm temperatures, but with some moisture in the air and the partially clearing skies overnight, do have some fairly dense fog. This will last till about 8 a.m. on your Thursday. That means less than a quarter mile of visibility, so do give yourself plenty of extra room between you and other vehicles. That's mainly on I-5 between about exit 34 near Central Point and down to exit 14. That's near the Ashland area, for example, so be aware of that early this morning. In terms of your pinpoint forecast, there's still some potential out there. And that's what we're seeing here. It's not rain that currently is falling. It's the potential for rain to fall. And that's mainly in Douglas County and out towards the coast and over the Cascades. That's also coincidentally happens to be where we saw the heaviest rainfall yesterday. Go through the day and we'll clear that out. Here's Thursday afternoon. Still some clouds out there. If anything, just leading to a nice sunset. Keep on going through Thursday, eventually into Friday. Again, some potential out there. This is Friday morning. I think most of this I'm not really going to make its way through our area, but the chance is there. Keep on going through. Through Friday, eventually getting closer to Saturday. Another system approaches from the north there. Checking out the coast, cloudy early with some fog and a slight chance of showers. Temperatures in the 50s to around 60 degrees for North Bend, partly cloudy later tonight. For the West Valley's temperatures mainly in the 60s and 70s today, so already warming up. We were around 60 degrees yesterday, so another 10 degree swing as we go a little bit warmer today, 71 for Medford. Usually we're in about the mid 60s. And east of the Cascades, partly cloudy, then sunny sky. 50s and 60s for your high temperatures. Your seven day forecast is trending fairly dry, but we do have these scattered chances of showers. Early Friday morning is some potential, not a great chance, but some potential there. Better chance will be Saturday, but then we dry out towards Sunday and Monday. We'll call it a slight chance, but probably staying dry as well. Look at Tuesday, Wednesday, definitely dry. Temperatures about 10 to 20 degrees above what we normally see this time of year. Checking out the Klamath Basin, also a slight chance of showers on Saturday, but that next system, not all that strong, so probably won't make it over the Cascades. Northern California, some potential there, especially western Siskiyou County, but otherwise looking like a dry forecast. And for the coast, not as dry. Most of these systems right up against the coast. We'd say Saturday, another chance Sunday and Monday of some showers, otherwise mostly dry conditions.